since uh, nobody seemed to jump on it earlier, they drop uh, game systems and games to those that are currently deployed, uh, enforcing a fantastic mental health program that helps veterans take trips to random locations. Who knows where they are? Because I don't. I want. I want to keep everyone safe. Um, and they can jump in there and basically recover mentally, mm -hmm. which personally I know I have genuinely needed before. It, had I known that there was a program like this, I think it would have been amazing. We just hit eight hundred dollars on the donation, so that is just over halfway to one of their trips. Go hit them up. Seriously, guys. It's an absolutely wonderful place for you guys to drop into. Stock up. They do a really good thing. It's part of the <clears throat> part of the pillars of rehabilitation for post-service, especially if you're suffering from things like PTSD or any diminished capacity from your time of service. You know, like none of that is a suffer alone kind of situation. Lots of people have had it too. Um this gets you out of your head, puts you in a different experience, allows you to quantify things differently without you having to worry about having to pay for it. You know, yep. um, Veterans for Healing, Veteran House Charity, um, a couple of the Canadian companies that my company, Canalux, is associated with, uh, that's what they do as well. So, I mean, that's why I'm really passionate about raising money for Stack Up, why I've worked with MBG, why I'm going to be working with VFH and VHC moving forward officially in my cannabis company. And, you know, as we hit our goals, we're going to create new goals. Um, this is what I was saying to MBG leadership the other day. Uh, you know, I'm not loyal to one group. I'm loyal to all groups. Y'all are my bros, you know, like I'm not cool with politics and stuff. I just want to be on, we're one army with many units that all serve the same purpose. And I think the more we work together, the more we can cross promote and help each other achieve our similar goals like look what they're doing with um mbg and what they've been doing for quite some time with artisan and getting custom gaming pcs to guys who and girls who might not necessarily be able to afford it maybe they're strapped on cash maybe they have so many bills stacked up they can't think and now they got this free gaming pc it's custom built if anything breaks they got the crews who know how to fix it they can just send a part or even send somebody with that part to fix it like communities like mbg communities like uh the black rifle dudes and how they raised two hundred fifty thousand dollars for boot campaign this is all what these communities are for there's you want the... to talk about mbg now <laughs> yeah by all means by all means i love uh, that first it... shirt by the way that was sick uh, that's actually just the back of the shirt Oh really? But yeah, he for, turned it back for around. streaming, it's on the back. So uh, when I want to show off that, because on front it's just a logo, right? Yeah. So I was just spinning around, you know. That needs to be front facing shirt for sure. I, I agree too, but they don't make the shirt anymore, and they won't make more for us. So. Oh, yeah. But, they must. Uh, we do have a uh, store currently making merch for us. We're going to have our own merch store on their website here shortly. Cool. Including jerseys, which can, oh. we can get custom made. I like that. Fun stuff coming. Anyways, I'm MVG Hells. I am the community manager, head admin. Uh, my official title is uh, senior manager of community operations. Um, I run the charities Discord uh, and to some extent help with the charity stuff. Uh, we're official 501c3. Uh, we are newer on the block. We had some uh, growing issues getting our tax status from the IRS. That was a lot of fun. Uh, but we got it. Um, we send care packages overseas to servicemen, servicewomen. We're the only ones that do this part. Service dogs. Yes, we are the favorite service dog care package supplier. Because we're that. the only one. Um, uh, currently on hold since uh, post office won't let us send overseas right now because of COVID. Mm. Um, we do lots of random programs that we come up with during COVID. Uh, for 84 days, we took a verified veteran from the Discord and we paid for a full meal for their family. Um, we, we do all sorts of stuff. We partner with a bunch of different organizations. We partnered with uh, 8 Circuit Studios to help get veterans into the game development world. Um, and hopefully here soon, a veteran, technically I'm active duty, but uh, <laughs> the idea is to get their foot in the door, right? So yeah. hopefully I'm actually going to have a 
a job with them soon. Um, but we get them, you know, actually testing, actually familiar with all of that and the processes. Um, we were working with Starbucks for a short period of time. We work with, did work with uh, Activision and their code project for a couple of years. Um, we have a 24-7 peer-to-peer support team, uh, colloquially known as a mental health support team. Uh, they are actually trained and certified members um, that are available around the clock. Average response time is less than a minute on those tickets. Uh, and they're available 24-7. So that's available to everybody, not just military. Civilians are also welcome to use that service. Um, <clears throat> we host game servers. We run events. Uh, one of our most popular programs recently has been uh, Keys of the Healing, which we started last year, and we've been bumping it up, and that's what uh, Broji mentioned briefly. Mm-hmm. Partnered with Artesian Builds and uh, Old Peeps' company to do custom PCs for veterans in need who can't get PCs, they can't afford it, uh, there is died in the need for school, you know, whatever the case is, um, we have a forum that our verified members have access to, verified veterans have access to, that they can submit the, their case. And we go through that and debate and choose who's going to be the next person. Uh, and we we just work through the list. Um, starting charity, starting a program, you know, funding is, is tight. Mm-hmm. So that's still being stood up but we're hoping soon uh looking at weekly bi-weekly pumping out a pc hopefully uh, yeah, and just continue awesome. to ramp that up yeah right now we're pumping out an average of two a month which isn't bad you know these are two thousand dollar custom gaming pcs yeah. <clears throat> so that's oops, sorry kitty that's one of the main things we do we do a lot of um giveaways to uh veterans be it services with the company, uh, products, uh, games. We gave away uh, 100 copies of Battlefield 2042, uh, which included 25 of those went to the BOSS program at Fort Drum. The BOSS program is for single uh, military members in the dorms to help get them connected with people. Oh, nice. Um, so like we that. did that. We just gave away a bunch of Escape from Tarkov uh copies to people uh we're looking to do more and more giveaways because people seem to like that and it's it's a easy quick way to get back to veterans beyond just being there for them which is what we're there for mm. uh, with our mental health team and uh our motto is healing through gaming everyone's a family here everyone has a place you know as long as not violating the rules <laughs> um we've uh we also do grants for veterans in need that one's not like super openly advertised we're not like click here for to apply for a grant but we do do that um last year we uh had a vet who lost his job uh and he couldn't pay the bills for uh electricity so their family wasn't gonna have power for uh thanksgiving and christmas and we turned their power back on for that um nice one example um bad stat to have but you know kind of have to have it you know we've helped a lot of veterans with suicide uh, mm-hmm. We've prevented over 30 suicides so far and counting. Um, so, I mean, we're there. Uh, if we can't help you for whatever reason, we will point you somewhere that can. Mm-hmm. Uh, if we don't have the resources, we will point you where you need to be, give those resources to you. So, um, yeah, we, we do a lot of stuff. We have a lot of people. We have our charity channel. We are partnered on uh, Discord. And we're growing. Fuck yeah. Yeah, good at good entity like through and through MVG. Great group of people too, honestly. Some of the best gamers and just some of the best people I've been able to hang out with. This is why I like these types of communities because that network gets to grow. You just you meet similar personalities and then all of a sudden you're a couple hours into a conversation, you didn't realize you had so much in common with people. That's like 9 out of 10 in my experience. You know. And uh Another thing that uh, people really like about the Discord, we don't allow anyone under 18. Love so that. you don't have to deal with squeakers. <laughs> you just play with other vets. And we do have a, a large civilian populace as well, but, you know, they're not squeakers. Paul <laughs> Francais, Canada, and the pas de squeaker. <laughs> going, going off the charity front as well, though, uh, as much like MVG, I'm a member of another charity that's 501c3 
it's called saves um it's a charity for veterans and first responders so firefighter police ems mm -hmm. uh where we are just going to be starting to do our first fundraiser here coming up this nice. uh within the next three months i believe and all those proceeds are going to be going to individual veteran um housing units so like um one near me it's called victory house where homeless veterans are able to to get a place to stay and we would literally go there and say okay what does it do the veterans need uh they need clothing they need food whatever it is and we use those resources and literally go here's what they need please make sure that they're distributed to the people that need them right um it is still a very young um charity i believe that we're only up to just shy of 60 members but just like MVG, we do have a mental health team that's there 24-7. We have uh, constantly going and handing out um, information that people are asking for for a plethora of different reasons. May it be uh, financial aid, it may be mental health resources. It's just a great community as well, and I'm honored to be a part of it.